Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we are going to talk about Starlink, but we're not going to do what everybody else has done that you've probably seen a hundred thousand times already, and we're not going to unbox it. We're not going to do the whole video of showing you guys what's inside and showing you guys the router and the dish. Guess what? It's the same. If you got the V2 version, just like we did, and everybody else out there, they're all the same. So today, but we are going to talk about how we converted this and we got this going on the 12 volt system. So stay tuned. So check it out. We have Starlink right here right now. And we got the cable draped all the way over to the back window, which is gonna be going into our electronics room right now. But for right now, we are just gonna have this kind of set up just because we gotta get some programming done on the system. But eventually, its permanent home is gonna be right up there. So there was originally a antenna up there. Um, the previous owner upgraded to this Vanguard 360 system, but you see that bracket right there? We are actually gonna physically mount that to the roof so that we can use it in motion and it starts working when it's going down the road. Now, I don't know how well that's gonna work. Uh, we are gonna go through some stuff. We're gonna get a new mount and everything mounted up there by that. And then we're gonna run the cables and everything through the roof, zip tie them down really nice, make sure they're all anchored down. And then they're gonna go into that back cabinet there. Um, the reason I'm doing it up here, setting this up here, this is kind of more of the forefront focal point for some of this stuff, is that wine guard unit. We're actually gonna be running another Cat5 cable out for our existing AT&T service that's running right through that wine guard air, air system. And it's gonna go all the way back to this cabin. So we're gonna have the Starlink cable for this. Once it's mounted up there, it's gonna go back and we're gonna have a Cat5 cable go back there. And the reason for that is, so basically it's gonna come down to the ceiling here. So some holes ready for some electrical that goes up there. We're gonna bring it down here and we're actually gonna tie it into this box right here. This box here, we got on a 12 volt system. Uh, we have this on a 12 volt system. We have this on a 12 volt system, this on a 12 volt system, the power over ethernet injector. But what's really cool about this is, that box right there is a 48 volt PoE step up from 12 volts. So it basically comes off 12 volts to the step up and it goes down to this here, which is a power over ethernet injector. And then that ties into a custom cable that we created because we're not quite ready to cut the cable for the Starlink. So we ordered this $25 cable here. And this here, you guys know, this is the Cat5 ethernet cable. This basically plugs in, brings Starlink available, and then gives us the ability that we can go power over ethernet out from here into our router, which is a custom PFSense dual NIC PC. Um, this was custom built. We had this in our old house running just regular fiber. Works really good. We are gonna re-implement this. We did change out the power supply in the back. Um, and we'll have a, kind of a how-to with that. We got some video footage of when we did that. Basically, we just bought a 12 volt power supply for this. It's a 500 watt and wired it all up to the ATX connector. So this basically runs off of 12 volts now. And the reason we're doing this is more self-sustained off-grid. So if we needed to run more, longer times out there, then we can. This here is the Arlo hub. This is what's gonna tie the HomeKit camera and some of the other security features into the HomeKit. So we're gonna get this all wired up. We're gonna do some testing, get this fired up, bring up the Starlink network. Um, then once we get done with that, we're going to take the WineGuard router, which is right up here. Probably not, not quite done. Um, we got the wine guard router here. There's a Cat5 port on here we can do pass through. We're gonna run that cable up all the way back there and then back down with the Starlink cable. So it's all one through one hole, seal it back up and have our little setup. Behind the mess, we have a lot of stuff we're doing right now. But yeah, we were, we'll be running dual internet from back here, this is gonna be our internet cabinet. Once I get everything kind of laid out as far as how everything's gonna go, we're gonna get everything mounted to the walls, looking really pretty. This is wire tying, zip tying all these wires up so that we don't have a whole bunch of wires everywhere. And then we got the Unify system for our wireless. We got one antenna here, and then I'll have another one up front there that will basically broadcast all through here. So let's start working on this and we will 
get back to you guys as soon as we get the Starlink up. Okay, unfortunately, one thing we did just learn, in order for us to be able to do this, you do have to have the router temporarily to get it all set up. Sorry. Um, it's asking for the router so that we can get it set up. I'm guessing it's so that we can get the Starlink dish down here paired and set up so that the internet's brought live. Um, I did just plug it in, trying to get it to work. But it's not really doing anything, so we're gonna get this all plugged in. We're gonna go through the setup, see if we can bring it online, and then go from there and get it all set up so that this dish works strictly with the 12 volt in our own router. So let's go through that. Okay, so I just hooked everything all up, and I'm still getting no activity whatsoever. Be very frustrated if this is a problem with this unit and it's not working right when I opened it up it definitely looked used so I'll be contacting Starlink regarding that um, and if what I've seen on some other people talking about this they said that they have seen that some of these units are being shipped used um, or refurbished is what they call it which I don't think is right because you're paying for the full price oh wait got activity it's moving it's gonna start positioning itself, look, look for where it needs to go. So let's get this all set up and go through and 